Hey, what is good guys, Chris here. Welcome back to the channel. And today, today we're talking about older cameras and I'm gonna give you my five reasons why you should go buy an older camera instead of a new release and why that is good for you and how you can save money and improve your skill and your photography doing that. So for those of you who are not subscribed to the channels, for those of you who are here for the first time, I'm a wedding and portrait photographer. I'm doing travel and commercial as well based in Northern California and I'm trying to tell you all kinds of things about photography that will help you improve your skill. Also my um, addition to, um, to tech, my uh, craziness about tech is um, real and I'm trying to combine that on the channel. So for those of you who are not subscribed to the channel, for those of you who are here for the first time, uh, welcome and don't forget to subscribe if you like what you're seeing. Go ahead and like these videos, give them a thumbs up, it helps me a lot and also share them with your friends if they're interested in photography and tech all together because that's what we're doing around here. But nonetheless, let's start with the video today and I'm gonna tell you my first reason why you should buy an older camera instead of a newer one. Usually because, what do you think? It's cheaper and yes, it's cheaper. You'll probably save 30 to 40% depending on the camera, depending on the brand, but you'll definitely save some money if you're buying an older camera and uh, oddly enough you're not gonna lose much at least in the last 10 years the improvements that they came out from the manufacturers on the newer releases weren't that you know amazing comparing to their older uh, iteration so you're not gonna lose a lot of image quality you're not gonna lose a lot of features if you're going to an older generation like a, a previous generation or two generations before the the one that they just released these cameras are doing very well and at this time uh on this age we are having amazing amazing technology uh, to work and we we have everything on our hands so do not fear of losing uh, a lot if you're going for an older camera definitely the price uh, it's gonna be better for you you'll probably like i said save uh, a few good hundreds and you will not uh, lose a lot in image quality this video is not uh, totally aimed to amateurs, but it's mainly for those who are studying in photography and they're thinking, wow, I have a lot of options. Uh, what should I do? What should I go for? I'm not going to tell you what's better, the APS-C, the full frame, the medium format, the large format, because that's only a preference. Uh, for me, uh, all of them are the same. I can shoot same kind of photos with all of them, but this um you know problem this debate of going for the gas the uh, gear acquisition syndrome and buy the new uh, and the bright and shiny uh, on the market it's crazy and i'm telling you it only does good to the manufacturers not to the uh, consumer because all the time when you're buying a new they get a lot of money though the older camera it's not that bad at all you won't lose a lot like i said so go ahead and uh, save some money and buy an older generation now the second reason and that's an important one uh it's that the older versions are well discussed well debated you will already know all the problems that they have you will know their limitations before going in depth and learning the camera because there's so many tutorials, there are so many people talking about them. You have all kinds of blog po posts and articles and everyone every day they're talking about these cameras because they knew about them, because they use them and they know exactly what they can. So for you, it's gonna be easy to learn it. It's gonna be easy to get in depth and you know uh, learn the menus and learn the limitations of the camera and all that. So that is a great point. If you're buying an older camera, you, you're gonna have everything on the internet. People uh, and reviewers are already did all uh, they could, could do to you know put this camera in a, a bad light or in a good light so you know exactly what you're gonna buy. The third reason is actually a little bit connected to the second one and that is the reliability. The older camera seems to be a little bit more reliable than the new ones and obviously there is a reason for that. The manufacturers, because of the reviewers and the ones who are, um, you know, dealing with the cameras and found a lot of stuff, 
they already release a firmware update uh, that or two or three that that improve the stability of the camera that improve the autofocus the iso performance uh they uh, stabilize the sensor they um you know dealt with all kinds of craziness that the camera uh, came up with when it was released so now you're gonna have a super stable camera with all the features set up and no bugs nothing that you have to uh, worry about it that's a good point, especially for the Fuji, because Fujifilm uh, always come up with firmwares after they're releasing their new cameras. You're going to have firmwares for probably five, six years uh, after you bought the camera that will improve your camera, that will make it more stable, more reliable, and even better uh, for your use. Now, the first one that I'm thinking of, it's more related to the first one. It's the fact that you're going to learn the system better. So if this photography stuff, it's not just a hobby for you. If you are thinking about becoming a pro professional photographer, a pro photographer, this will help you a lot buy an older camera learn everything about the system learn all the perks and the quirks and all the uh, bugs and the limitations that uh, that system has also this will help you get into the ecosystem of the brand that you chose and buy more lenses and filters SD cards and all kinds of accessories that you will need in the future. So uh, that will uh, save you a lot of money in the future because you already have an older camera that you come up with glass that might be newer because for me, it's more important to have good glass than a good camera. So you probably heard that the uh, gear doesn't matter. Well, it doesn't when it comes to uh, uh, cameras, but it does a lot when uh, we're talking about glass and good glass. So that will help you get good glass and the upgrade in a couple of years will be easier. You'll just have to change the camera body and already have the glass. This come with a little note. Be very careful when you're choosing your system because there are all kinds of sensor formats from from a micro four thirds to a large format and all these brands uh, they having separate stuff and different stuff so if you're choosing one and you're going for APS-C and then let's say in two years you're deciding to go for full frame you're gonna have a lot of issues trying to adapt the lenses or you'll probably have to sell the entire system and get into the full frame system which will make it a, a little bit cumbersome for you and you're gonna lose a lot of money so when you're trying to buy a camera even if it's an uh, older one try to buy a camera that has uh you know uh, all the qualities and the format that you want to continue with either full frame or APS-C micro four thirds uh full format or large format if you want to go uh, for film and so on and so forth now the fifth reason it's more like a subjective one uh it's more like a preference uh, for me the older cameras uh, tend to look better than the newer ones because they were made to um, attract people in buying them. The newer ones are more about the technology that's inside than the look of it. And you have a lot of examples. You know me, uh, for those of you who are subscribed already, you know that I am a Sony shooter and I hate Sony because of the look of the cameras. Other than that, they're good cameras. They provide good quality uh, images. And I believe that their uh, color science, it's not that bad as everyone uh, tells you about. But nonetheless, these cameras are not looking the way the older one look. And a good example is uh, this Minolta. This is an old SRT 101, which you can consider Sony because Sony uh, bought Minolta in the past. So this is a Minolta camera and Sony didn't learn anything about uh, these uh, cameras and the look of it uh, when they come up with their lineup uh, of new mirrorless uh, cameras. They all look like black bricks with a lens attached to it. These ones, they look uh, super nice, super classy, fancy. They have all kinds of buttons that you can use. They might not have the technology, they might not have the um, ability to do whatever you're doing with the mirrorless, but they definitely look better. So yeah, like I said, this is more like a preference for me. Uh, I, I like all the cameras because they look a little bit better. Okay guys, this is pretty much it for today. Hopefully these five reasons will help you improve your photography because you have a wider horizon when it comes to tutorials and you know, old 
uh, cameras have all kinds of uh, blog posts and like I said reviews and in-depth tutorials about how to use your me the menus what are the limitations for the camera what the camera can do what it can do so that will help you a lot to learn about it and it will also save you money because these old cameras tend to be uh, way cheaper than the new releases and for a good reason because uh, companies are trying to get rid of the stock and just sell you uh, the new and the shiny so don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you didn't already uh, hit that notification bell to be always notified when i'm putting a video up also like these videos give them a thumbs up it helps me a lot and share them with your friends so we can build a huge community around this channel and i will definitely see you in the next one bye